Hi, I'm Dr. Leslie. Welcome back to my kitchen. Today, we're going to make huevos estriados. So today, we are doing a Spanish dish, which is why I'm speaking Spanish. Uh, this is a very simple dish, actually, of fried potatoes and fried eggs. I first came across this dish when I was in Madrid with my wife. And we heard about this very famous restaurant that all the presidents and all the stars would go to, right? And uh, it's called Casa Lucio. They have this very famous dish that everybody uh, orders, which is the uh, huevos estriados. So we ordered the dish, and when it finally came, right, we just looked at it and go, Oi, for me it's just potatoes and eggs. And the fries are not even crispy, you know. They're all like drenched in oil. It's like soggy fries with eggs, but when we put it into our mouth, we go, wow, something very special. What makes the potatoes so nice? Huh? So uh, I made friends with the chef, so he brought me to the kitchen. Then that was where I saw the secret. The secret is that they actually slow cook the potatoes in olive oil, not just olive oil, extra virgin olive oil. Now, these are not your typical french fries where you expect it to be crispy, deep fried. These are actually confit potatoes. Now, if you understand this, then you get the dish. I'm using russets today. You can use uh, yellow potatoes if you want. Those uh, local yellow potatoes will do well. They are starchy, so when they cook it, it's nice and fluffy on the inside. So we're going to just cut this into like a thick potato chip kind of uh, size. So maybe about 1.2. One, 1. Centimeters. If you don't know what this dish is supposed to be, you might easily misinterpret it because you might think, ah, yeah, it's terrible. How come the fries are so soggy? It's not supposed to be crunchy. It's not supposed to be brown. It's supposed to be like that. Interesting, right? It's just a new way of uh, another way, I would say, another way of eating potatoes. So you can imagine how much of a home dish this really is, like, it's like grandma's dish, right? In fact, that's how the dish got uh, invented, apparently. It's just uh, this grandma found some eggs that were broken and so you just fried it, put it on some potatoes and so a dish was born. So we want to soak the potatoes for a little while so that the starch will come off. We're going to dry the potatoes now, going to get rid of all the water. So now we just uh, have a towel and I'm going to just dry the potatoes. Extra virgin olive oil is the secret for this dish. I'm using today the Fair Price Extra Virgin Olive Oil. I've been using a lot of Fair Price products this year and I've uh, been trying all the different things, you know, when I go to the supermarket and actually find that the Fair Price product is not bad. The thing with olive oil is it is very healthy because it's very high in monounsaturated fats. Dietitians will recommend, especially if you are trying to lower your cholesterol levels. In general, you never cook with extra virgin olive oil, but today, just for this dish, we are going to cook with extra virgin olive oil. The key to it is not to overheat your oil. Because if you overheat extra virgin olive oil, the flavour will disappear. So you want to keep the oil temperature relatively low. Okay, so for this amount of potatoes, I'm just going to throw in maybe a cup of extra virgin olive oil. So this is a luxury, yeah, because uh, extra virgin olive oil is not cheap. Although, I must say that the fair price extra virgin olive oil is quite affordable still. One bottle like this now is going for about $12.85 on special. But the good thing about olive oil is it's got all the extra qualities that we all like, like which is it makes it healthy, you've got polyphenols, antioxidants. Basically, after you use this olive oil, you can keep it for the next batch of potatoes, so don't waste it. Or you can use it to uh, drizzle over your salad. So a lot of people actually ask me over the years, you know, you know, what kind of oil is good to cook in? Actually, the answer is something like extra virgin olive oil is the best oil for you. Lah, because it's so natural, right? But if you want something that has absolutely no flavour, none of the fruitiness, then you go for light olive oil. Okay, light olive oil is basically the olive oil that's been refined. Okay, so if you have light olive oil here, 
you have extra virgin olive oil here. If you mix the two together, <laughs> you get this 100% olive oil. Okay, the name of the game is not to brown your potatoes, right? They've just got to have that very light pale colour. You want to test the potatoes with a skewer. In this case, I'm using a thermometer probe. I'm keeping the temperature at about between 100 and 120. I really want to preserve all that aromatic, that smell of the extra virgin olive oil. Now in case you don't have a thermometer probe like this, uh, you can just look at the bubbles, it should be around like that. Lah. Okay, it shouldn't be like aggressive. So it's 15 minutes, it's ready. See, the potatoes are nice and soft. So now as the potatoes are cooling down, we just go and do the eggs. Of course, you get yourself some of them nice eggs, you know, because eggs are such a, such a star of this show. Because we have cooked uh, very low temperature, this uh, oil uh, is not oxidized, it's not spoiled. You can reuse it, you can use it for salad dressing. Don't waste it because it's extra virgin. All you need to do now is to give it a, just a bit of sprinkle of salt. Just a bit of salt like this. That's it, really. Very tasty. You try it yourself and let me know. So now we're going to cook the eggs. This oil is still quite hot. So now you add your eggs to the pan. Okay, make sure your heat is quite gentle. I mean, of course, in the restaurant, uh, they do it very fast because they're very experienced. But when you're at home and you're not, maybe not so experienced, maybe you don't want it to be so fast, yeah? You just bathe the, the top of the eggs with the hot oil, like that. All right, so the eggs are essentially done. You want it really runny, really. Okay. So you're just gonna drain it. Okay, just put your eggs over the potatoes like that. One more step. This is not the dish. The dish is called broken eggs. And so, what they do is, the waiter will come to your table and then he will break the eggs in front of you like that. Now, this is now my huevos estrellados. Time to eat! Okay, no, you are thinking, right? Potatoes and eggs only one! How nice can it be? But it's that yolk, you know, when you break that yolk and then the yolk goes into the potato all together like this. Mm -hmm. oh. It's the ultimate comfort food, right? It's so simple to do. The extra virgin olive oil and the potatoes combined together with the egg. These three ingredients together, a bit of salt, pure heaven. You should try this at home. Until next time, happy cooking.